Hello there my fellow Holotable Heroes and welcome to another Conquest video. So in this one I'm back in Sector 5 because we had a slight change here for one of the feats. Uh, so because they weren't unable to fix the Darth Revan bug for the Deathmark feat, they just removed the Deathmark feat and now we have one by one feat where you have to inflict marked at least 40 times. So I've done some testing, tried a few different uh, teams here and here I really want to show you like two possible ways that you can kind of get this done there are a couple of characters that can apply mark so i found a team that can get this done pretty much in two battles without any issues uh, so i'll show them anyway uh, let me first show you the discs uh, because you know we'll be trying to cheese this uh here uh, against uh, the phoenix squad the mini boss uh, so we do want to remove any sort of here uh, this that will incre increase your damage like i'm removing blind side uh, I'll be removing stacking fervor and weak spot. So any sort of these that will increase your damage, take those out because we want the enemy to stay alive so we can keep reapplying mark over and over again. And instead I went like for a full on set of ability mode here. Lots of healing, uh, protection, recovery, entrenched and things like that. Also added spirited speed, just maybe I can gain some bonus turn meter to get turns quicker. There we go. We'll, uh, We'll cheese this uh, Phoenix squad here, mini boss. It seems like we cheese it for everything here in Sector 5. Uh, so I'm going with Throne Lead and that is because with his leadership there are two things here that will happen for your Empire allies. So one is whenever you do get debuff applied on your Empire allies they'll be gaining some bonus turn meter and bonus turn meter means they'll be gaining turns quicker. And then as well you get maneuver ability which again it dispels all debuffs and also gain 50% turn meter. So you'll be able to use this ability as well to get another quick turn both with Thrawn and Piet. So Piet can get as many marks out there as possible. Thrawn can use his turn meter swap ability again more regularly swapping with Piet uh, or anybody else that maybe needs to some protection top up. I will be using Piet obviously his Imperial Ambition here. Uh, will be applying uh, Mark over on Throne, and even though you're applying it to your ally, that still counts uh, towards this feed here. Bringing in what so we can put tank tech on the, on the tank of your choice, and so then because these Phoenix they don't have AOE, so they'll be stuck. If you do have Master Luke, uh, he's a great option here to use because he's a Jedi tank which means that uh, Revan here will be able to swap turn meter with him so that Revan can get quicker to another direct focus as well pretty much every other turn or so he'll be getting uh, his direct focus out. Uh, if you don't have Master uh, Luke there uh, you can obviously use General Kenobi uh, which I will show you in the second battle as well that also General Kenobi works well you don't need Galactic Legends to do this. So any tank tech over on your Jedi tank and these guys don't have AOE so just be stuck behind your tank and that's why we have all this entrenched uh, as well as defensive formation so we can keep recovering here uh, protection whenever we attack out of turn there you go we go already now mark number one I'm just going to mark Ezra there probably best option that actually would be Kanan and we go mark over on Thrawn now Thrawn gains bonus turn meter because mark is a debuff uh, again another quick turn there for Throne. keep pushing here okay and swap turn meter with Piet and then now Piet uses maneuverability so he gets another 50% turn meter uh, just basics here really just kind of spreading the damage you don't want to take anybody out you really want to drag on this battle uh, all the way to the end okay there we go so see when the throne is called to an assist because he's got Imperial Ambitions on him. He's recovering protection on everybody because of the defensive formation disc. This allows your tank to stay alive throughout the battle. Obviously, I swapped their turn meter uh, with uh, Luke, so Revan got another quick turn. Here I can swap again uh, with Piet. So one more turn and Piet will have uh, his uh, mark online again. Alright, trying to keep Ezra alive here if I can. Alright, perfect. They put a backup plan on him, so if I take him out to the revive, there you go. Second uh, mark coming uh, from Piet as well. Keep using maneuver whenever it's available on Throne and Piet. Uh, if they don't have the turn meter swap and uh, mark ability, swapping turn meter again, maneuver again. So there you go. That's how this team runs pretty much. It's a recent repeat. There you go. Second uh, now mark 
uh, from Revan is online. So this time I'm going after Kanan. It's probably best option here. And this is pretty much it. It's rinse and repeat. It's a pretty straightforward hero. So I just speed up the footage. Uh, also, the good point is that with Kanan, every time you do apply debuffs uh, on the enemies, they'll be recovering health. So they're very durable as well. And without any sort of stacking damage on our end, our damage will not be ramping up. And that's how it is here. Yeah, and good thing is, you just run it through, just time out the battle, because when you time out the battle, you will not be losing stamina. So you can pretty much do this twice, and you will be good to go here with these 40 marks uh, online. So there we go. I finished off Kanan there, finished off there uh, as well. Ahsoka. Uh, but luckily, we got Chopper there. He's a tank, he's quite beefy as well. So I was able to drag on this battle all the way through for 10 minutes to get a lot of marks out there uh, so it's a straightforward team to run no issues here with surviving really i'm so grateful for this phoenix squad because we can cheese so many feats versus these guys because we do not have any more <laughs> uh, you know night sisters with zombie anymore all right here we go i was able to get another mark out and there we go timing out so we're not losing stamina and let's go ahead and see how many marks did we get in this first attempt here. Remember, I was on 7 uh, and now I'm all the way up to 28. So I got marked 21 times, which means you can do this in two battles uh, with this team. Now, just to show you that you do not need to have Master Luke, because I appreciate not everybody will have Galactic Legends. You can just do this uh, with your General Kenobi. He will as well be able to tank. Uh, obviously, he's not as tanky as Luke. But still, because of uh, recovery of protection and things like that, we'll be able to keep him alive. So this now runs the same. You put a tank tech over on Kenobi. Okay, there we go. They keep attacking now. There we go. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. All right. Can I get a turn, please? Thank you. All right, here we go. I'll just go ahead and mark Thrawn here. And then we can just swap with Piet to give Piet another turn. He uses uh, their... Um, Maneuver to get more turn meter. Now we Raven can mark as well. So we've got two marks already. There we go. I mean, what I can all, what I also found helpful is you can put weapon tech on Piet, so he's gaining some turn meter whenever enemies uh, get a turn. Here with Kenobi, can put up retribution, so he counterattacks, and because of the defensive formation discs, whenever we counterattack, remember or, or attack out of turn, we will be recovering protection, and this will allow Kenobi to stay alive. Uh, throughout the battle, he's got also well mass assist here again. Attacks out of turn will be recovering protection in your guys. Uh, and then, obviously, Piet, whenever he uses basic, he will call Throne for an assist. And again, attacks out of turn, this will keep healing your Kenobi up. Uh, but sometimes I did notice as well uh, that uh, my Kenobi got low on protection, so then I just use uh, Throne there to swap turn meter with Kenobi instead of Piet, so he also topped up 40% protection. Uh, on Kenobi as well, and because Kenobi got a turn, he recovered 30 more percent protection from tank tag. So with Kenobi a little bit, you have to sometimes swap turn meter with Thrawn, wherever his master look, you know, he's tanky, you don't have to worry about it uh, at all, topping up his protection there um, too much with Thrawn. But on that, pretty safe for, there you go, put weapon tech on Piet as well, so he's getting some bonus turn meter now, whenever Phoenix, they do get a turn, and now, pretty much, rinse and repeat, he runs the same team uh, as the Luke one, you just have to keep an eye on Kenobi there, uh, top him up with Throne every now and then. I just did it there uh, when he's getting low on protection, just to make sure he keeps permanent taunt uh, on him. And they don't have AoE, so there's nothing they can do. And also here you can see uh, I was just keep marking Kanan over and over again. Uh, it just seems like also with Kenobi there your damage is a little bit lower, because look, even though he's a tank, you know, his basic can do some good damage as well. And most importantly, uh, his basic also will apply buff immunity on the enemy, and then the enemy won't be able to get protection up every time you do damage uh, of, on them. So that that is actually coming from unique there uh, from Chopper. So definitely actually with Kenobi, while you do have to manage his protection a little bit, uh, it just seems like, you know, you can keep an enemy alive easier than with the Master Luke. Alright, let's see if we can get another mark out just before the battle ends. Doesn't look like. So again, just timing out so you save your stamina. And there we go, <laughs> Thrawn doing a couple of attacks there, doing his best. And there we go, completed one by one, now after doing this second battle. Now there's another option that you have as well for applying Mark, aside from Piet and Jedi Knight Revan. 
So let me, so in this video here, as you see, I had seven marks uh, on there. And what you want to do is uh, take in General Grievous versus Night Sisters because the AOE there uh, from Talzin will ignore protection, which means she goes straight for health. And Grievous then obviously, uh, once he falls below 100% health, he will put Mark on one of his allied droids. So there you go. Here comes the AOE from Talzin. Uh, and then this now dropped uh, Grievous health below 100% health. And now he marked B2 there. And that's how this works. Uh, whenever Grievous falls below there, he will mark somebody. And then just kind of this mark will go around. And you can get it out quite a few times. There we go. Here comes Talzin back. Doing an AOE. In most likelihood, you know, depends on how strong your Grievous team is. But here I'm not really playing for the win. I'm just trying to stall the battle as long as I can. But they did get Plague over on uh, B1 there. So he won't last very long. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there you go. They applied again Plague now on my Grievous. So his health again dropped below 100%. Which means again, uh, their B2 got marked. Because the healthiest allies will get marked. Okay, here we go. Here I'm like, okay, it looks like this thing is over. Let's see if I can win this battle actually, but... Uh, okay, there we go. Trying to keep obviously B2 alive. There we go, we got another mark there, perfect. Alright, smash an AOE. Here we go. Uh, what do I want to do here? Okay, let's just put tech on Grievous, why not, so he can recover protection because it's the health really that we we want to lose anyways here comes another aoe there goes another mark there on b2 and that's how this really works you just let night sisters keep applying plague on your grievous grievous does attack he recovers some health gets back to 100 health and that's it pretty much okay there we go let's see how this battle will end will grievous be able to stand against night sisters all by himself obviously trying to take take duck out by now this is now Sector 5, the hell they're like what, overprepared Mark 4 I think these Night Sisters. So they're very juicy, but doesn't matter, when you lose, you keep your stamina, so you can go in and just do this a few times, and you should be able to get it done. So there you go, uh, I started off this uh, with uh, 7 marks, and now I'm up to 23, so I got this uh, as well, 16 marks, so even with Grievous here, you could do it in 3, maybe even uh, in 2 battles there, if maybe instead of what, you put one of the droids as well. Because what obviously not a droid, so he can't get marked. Uh, and as well, you know, that had some gear 12 droids in there as well. They weren't all relic. Alright, guys, hopefully this video helps you out. You've got really kind of two teams there, either with uh, Throne, Piet, and Revan, or General Grievous, that basically either of those teams can get you this feat completed in two battles without really much trouble. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, have fun, enjoy life, and may the RNG be with you, my friends.